friends, welcome back to my channel, or if it is your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa or Missa. Welcome. We have Monster, although it is half past four. I'm just going to finish this can because I'm going to go to the cinema once I've finished filming this video and I'll need to be awake. Today I had to go out and do a few bits and get like cat litter and all that kind of boring stuff and then I thought since I was so close to Primark, I would nip in and have a, have a look. I really wanted a hat because this is my only beanie that I have and it's very very thick and chunky and sometimes I want a thinner hat so I got this hat and I love it it's got this like just plain little thing on it which I think jazzes it up a bit and I love hat weather because I can wear my wig this is just my it's usually curled but I straightened it I just threw my wig on today didn't have to worry about my hair and I don't have to worry about it at all because I've got this hat on concealing that it's a wig so very pleased that it's hat weather again and I got, I only, I have one bag, this is I only have one bag, I think it's normal to leave Primark with one bag, some people leave with more, some with less, anyway this hat was £3 and I got the same one but in beige which I also love with the little like patch on it, I don't know I just think it adds a little bit more detail and makes it look a little bit more expensive and it's a nice like thin beanie it's not too bulky on my head so yeah I got two beanies and I'm very pleased I love them both equally but today's obviously quite a everything I'm wearing is black apart from my shoes second thing I got is this um what's it called a gilet I got this on my last trip as well as so the next thing that I'm going to show you but because it was like can you get out the bag because it was only like a few days ago I thought it would just include it all together but I love this I've now not taken it off since I've already got like makeup on the collar it's great this was 20 pounds which I thought was quite pricey for Primark however having worn it an absolute bunch now it is warm and cozy and I do like it I got a size medium I would have got a small but they didn't have any so I got the medium and actually I quite like how oversized it is I think it's really really nice it's got pockets as well it does do up with the buttons but I've never done that but yeah I feel like I look like a sexy robber right now you know I look cool and criminal then the next thing I got is this purple fleece I got this last time as well and uh I have actually worn it once and then I realised I hadn't taken the label off but that's good. It was £12. Primark's definitely going up in price and like nothing has its price like on the label, like barely anything anymore and like you think it's £5 to get up to the till and it's £7. Everything's getting more expensive. But this fleece is obviously like what you expect your auntie Elma to wear going hill walking. It's partly hideous, partly I love it so much it's really cozy I got an extra small as you can see and it's still oversized on me so if you want to size down you can or I actually wanted a medium in this so it was a lot more oversized on me but they didn't have any so I got the extra small and just thought well I can take it back but I love it I think it's really nice it's quite cozy it's not like super thick fleece but yeah it's partly hideous partly amazing it's just one of those kind of fashion trends right now though isn't it to have like that kind of fleece and I've got a few from last year that I got from Columbia the brand on ASOS and I adore them next up is really boring but I thought it'd be nice for work it's just a black and white stripy jumper with a funnel neck and I've got quite a lot of like thermal layers now so I can wear a thermal underneath it they only had an extra small so I just picked it up this was eight pounds which seems quite pricey but that'll look nice with my black trousers and my blazer at work and it feels quite cozy I probably won't try it on just because I don't want to get makeup around the collar when I get ready for work and have like tight tops on I'll put my clothes on first and then do my face obviously so yeah and it's just a boring work jumper for me I'm sure other people would wear it like as normal but for me it's a boring work jumper how cute do I look with hair? I know. Oh, this is exciting. I finally got some new fleece pyjamas. I've been wearing the same pre-work fleece pyjamas since before I got married. They're like, all my sausages will recognise them. I'm always sending selfies in them. They're like red Mickey Mouse fleece pre mark pyjamas. So I've had them for like five years, maybe six years. And I thought, finally time to upgrade. So I got a new set. And this material, this like really bubbly fleece is potatoes favorite material 
Sausage loves it too, but potato goes nuts for it. He will make biscuits on it all day. He adores it. So I got these plush PY pajamas. The bottoms aren't as thick and fleecy, but they are like thinner fleece, which is lovely because I'll just wear thick socks. I got a size medium because you want them to, I don't like my pajamas to be tight on me. I want them to be a bit more like oversized. They say 13 euros, so I think they were 12 pounds. Darling, he's playing with Tia's Amazon parcel. But yeah, I'm gonna wear these tonight after I get home and have a shower and Potato is gonna adore them. And I think I'm ready to part with my pre-marriage Mickey Mouse ones because every time I do wear them, I do think, oh, I wore these the Christmas before my husband left me for like a brief moment. So yeah, these are the new and improved version. No man attached to those pajamas. Then I got, I think last of the clothing, just another sweater. This one is in grey and it is a large. I have this in a small and a medium. I'm wearing the black version of it right now in a large. They're all I wear pretty much is these just sweaters. They're so easy to throw on, wear them with leggings, shorts, jeans, whatever you want. They're just amazing. And this was six pounds. So I thought that's a really good price for a nice big oversized sweater and I'll probably just wear it like I'm wearing this outfit right now with my leggings. Speaking of leggings, I got another pair of the ones that I do not take off in winter. One pair of super, super, super cozy leggings. These are small medium, £3.50 and they are like just very, very thick. I think slightly fleece lined. Does it say fleece lined? Yeah, brushed fleece lining but I wear, always wear tights underneath all of my leggings anyway because it makes it like doubly sure that you can't see your pants but these are fabulous but these are just the best they're really thick really cozy cannot live without them I usually buy a couple of pairs every winter from Primark and I put them on right this second actually like with my only bit of colour on me the rest is makeup-ish. So I picked up these vitamin C facial cleansing wipes. You get two packs for a pound. I hope they never raise the price of these because they're so good. But I just thought the vitamin C part was interesting and I'd give these a go. I've tried all the other wipes, so throw them in the wipe drawer. Ones I would not recommend are these clear and cool ones. I just think they smell horrible. Very very I don't even know what the smell of is it um oh aloe vera or something I just don't tea tree and witch hazel oh they're they're very strong and I'm not put off by scents usually then I got these super soft 120 round cosmetics pads that everyone gets in Primark because Pixie sent me this a PR parcel and in it was one of the toner things. Yeah, they sent me the collagen tonic and I always give these away to other people because I'm like, I never even use them. But I thought if I get these wipes, maybe the cotton pads, it might encourage me to use it. And considering all my friends say it's really good, maybe I should try and use it like once I've done my skincare in the evening. So I got cotton pads to use with that and they'll be good for like getting stuff out of the cat's eyes and everything. Then I got this because I thought if I end up doing like Halloween makeup it could be quite fun. They had scar wax, fake scar moulding wax for £2.50 in the like little Halloween bit that they had. They had like witches hats and like headbands and stuff. But I thought if I like, I don't really like doing Halloween makeup but I could do like something slightly fun for Halloween with this and it was only £2.50 so we'll see. Uh, I don't know if it'll have like how to use it but here I'm gonna try and do a Halloween look at least like I'll try. The cats are waiting so patiently to get into the bag. Then I picked five pairs of the natural false eyelashes so these are very very natural. Not my thing really but they're only a pound and I'm really enjoying like three quarter lashes at the moment. That's what I've got on. These are Eyler 008. I love them. So I thought I could just cut the very end of these off and have like three quarter lashes. And if they work for a pound, I thought 
just buy a bunch in case it's like the best thing ever and really cheap because my Isler ones are six pounds a packet these are a pound so I bought five in the hopes that I could make them into like three quarter lashes that I would adore just for work and stuff but like during the day I just wear like you know more natural makeup like this usually anyway and then the last two things I picked up were two lipsticks because I just liked the packaging and I thought one of them looked really really pale and the other one looked nice and kind of mustardy and they had no testers so I couldn't actually see what these looked like so let's open them and have a look I've only got a lip liner on right now all over my lips so we could put one on and see what it's like okay so this is the luster one in the shade barely there and it looks quite pale which is obviously what I like the best that's quite nice it's paler than my lip liner which is good that's a nice colour I like that I like that a lot I'll save the top lip for the other one this one is in the shade naked and this is a matte whereas the other one is a luster if you weren't paying attention okay I think it might be like the exact same oh maybe slightly dark I don't know they both look the same like you can't tell I don't think that I've got a different lipstick on top and bottom I'm not unhappy I'm very pleased with them I generally quite like Primark's lipsticks the formula is usually pretty nice so I'm glad I got both probably were luster more I was just more intrigued because I thought the naked one might be very 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 pale but it's not much paler I would say I think it's very nice color though isn't it so yeah that's everything that I got it's not a massive haul I didn't spend a lot of money but I picked up some bits that I wanted some bits that I needed and other bits for fun so I don't know, I could do like, I could just like build something disgusting on my face and then like do nice eye makeup with the scar wax. But I just thought it was cool that pre-work had something quite like specialised in there for cheap. But yeah, that is my pre-work haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like pre-work hauls, by the way, Rosie, my friend in Saucers, Rosie, she does pre-work hauls all the time and like really good try-ons as well. So you should go and watch uh, Rosie's channel if you haven't already I will link her down below she's just like who I go to for pre-mark hauls and I quite often end up buying what she's bought like the week later Um, who's that? who's that? we might have a cat for you to see sorry we don't have a cat he's in the pre-mark bag and that is his prerogative but yeah anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a big thumbs up Leave me a comment down below, when was your last Primark haul? Do you still do hauls from Primark? Do you just get pants and socks? Tell me. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I am going to piss off, quickly edit this video and then go to the cinema. I'm going to go see Don't Worry Darling on my own, just for fun. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!